what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing what i like to call a dust and discuss this is the first episode of it i'm trying out and basically what it is is i'm going to be dusting my figures and you can dust your figures if you're an anime figure collector while we do that we can discuss different anime topics um i looked it up and it doesn't seem like this idea already exists so so if there if it does exist and you know about it uh let me know please let me know who came up with the idea because this is something i just came up with at the top of my head and doesn't look like anybody has done it from what i have looked up or seen so just to start off what i usually use to dust my figures are these um little makeup brushes. I bought these to use a long time ago for makeup but I never ended up using them so I just ended up using them for dusting figures and they're great because they come in different sizes too and it's basically just the ColourPop and My Little Pony collaboration. That's basically what I use. You can use makeup brushes too. I think those are much better than hard bristle paintbrushes so if you do use a paintbrush that's fine but I think using probably like watercolor brushes would be good so without further ado let me introduce you to the first topic which is figures anime figures uh, specifically holy grails that I just need uh, in my collection and figures that I really wish would get a re-release because the aftermarket price has skyrocketed and is absolutely ridiculous. So these aren't all my figures here. This is what I'm starting out with for now because I don't want to overcrowd the desk and topple over some figures because I'm really clumsy with that and I do not trust myself. So um, I hope the angle is okay. I tried re rearranging it. All right, first figure we have here is our dear Mew Ichigo, which is actually a holy grail figure that I've always been wanting and I finally have her. So I have a list of over here on the desk, you can't really see it, but I do have a list of different figures that I consider to be my holy grails that I really want my hands on and figures that I wish were re released. So I'm gonna start off with uh, the holy grail figures and the first figure or set of figures comes from the Banana Fish series. So I really want the not only the scale of Ash and AG from Banana Fish, but also the two Nendroids, and I need them both together. If you haven't seen the aftermarket prices for both <laughs> sets of figures, it is absolutely ridiculous and it recently was Ash's birthday, I think yesterday, but this video will be uploaded um, way after then. So I can't imagine how how much more the price has gone up <laughs> because of that. Good Smile did acknowledge Ash's birthday, so I don't know if that means that we'll get a re-release on them, but I'm really hoping so. So the next figure that is an absolute holy grail for me is the Hiyori Iki figure from Noragami. I need her and I need her with Yato. As much as I love Bishamon, I don't really care as much um, on getting her than I do for Yato and Hiyori. I just need those two main ones and I do wish they made one of Yukine, but I don't, I don't know why they never did. So yeah, I need Hiyori at least. Next Holy Grail figure would be a nostalgic figure from a nostalgic series which would be Kayon. and the figure I want from Kayon is Yui Hirasawa's I believe it's 25th anniversary scale figure from um I think the brand is stronger her base is this guitar pick and she's you know just laying on it it's one of my favorite Yui Hirasawa figures I know they sell ones of uh, Ritsu and Mio and everybody else, but I especially want Yui's. Okay, so this next one is also from a nostalgic series and it is the Beyond the Boundary Mirai Kuriyama figure. There's only 
one really, really great figure of Mirai and it is that figure. The only other figure I think of her is like a swimsuit figure. That's more of a fan service figure, so I'm again, I'm not interested in that. Next figure is expensive, but not too expensive. I do consider her, I don't think, maybe the Nendroid of it is. I'm not sure, <laughs> now that I think about it. But she is a little pricey for what she is, so um, it is Tomoko from Watamote, and I really want the Nendroid and the prize figure with the little bonus face of her. I do think the, I think it's the Nendroid that's a little more expensive than the prize figure. I can't remember. One is more expensive than the other, but I really want her. She was one of my first animes, so was, um, Noriga well... <laughs> so far all the ones I listed were one of my first animes. Tomoko has a special place in my heart and I absolutely loved her. I love the show, it cracked me up. Um, it didn't make me cringe in like some scenes but it gave me secondhand embarrassment. But overall I loved the show um, and it being one of my first animes kind of holds a special place in my heart. So I really want Tomoko so bad. I only have an acrylic stand of her. And that's about it. I do know the manga is still going on I believe but there hasn't been any new seasons or announcements for new seasons so um, fingers crossed I heard a lot has happened within that series in the manga so I'm hoping we can get another season so I'm not losing hope because recently it was announced that Devil is a Part-Timer is getting a new season after how many years so um never say never okay next figure is Kurumi from School Live oh my god Kurumi is my favorite character on that show I absolutely love her she is so badass, she is so adorable. I love everything about her and I need that figure of her. There is only one figure of her, I believe. There are no Nendroids. Same with the other girls, I think. And I do want the other girls eventually, but my main focus is on getting Kurumi first. And then probably down the line, I want, I'll focus on getting the other girls. But my holy grail from that series is Kurumi and I need her so bad. <laughs> All right, next up, we have a series that has gone on for a long time. It is Eren's scale figure from Attack on Titan and it's the Good Smile Company version. Absolutely love it and I need it. Uh, I need that along with the Nendroid, but I mainly want that scale. I know there's another one with um, from the brand ArtFX, I think. That one's good too, but I mainly love the Good Smile Company one. Uh, what's next? Oh my god, okay, so this one is not from an actual series. It is from a Vocaloid, and it is the Hatsune Miku Halloween scale figure. It's the Tricker Miku scale figure and I think that figure is so beautiful. One of my favorite Miku figures. I have not gotten a Miku figure except for like this. This is like one of the first figures I've ever gotten before I ever knew about collecting anime figures. So I got it at this anime store at the mall and it's um, bootlegged. Which I didn't even know bootlegs existed at that point. But anyways, I don't have, besides that, uh, any Hatsune Miku figure and the reason for that is because I want specifically that Tricker Miku figure so bad. It would also be great for Halloween uh, Instagram pictures or Halloween decorations, add a little anime spice to it. Okay, so next for my Holy Grail figures is the Mega House school uniform version of Sailor Moon. And it's a one-tenth scale, and I don't know why 
it's so expensive. It's probably because she's in her school uniform, but it is such a pretty figure. And the pose isn't that like shocking or mesmerizing, but there's this like simplistic beauty behind it and I absolutely love it. So now figures I wish they would re-release, which I do wish they would re-release that Holy Grail figure, but like some of those kind of feel impossible or like out of reach at this point. So, uh, figures that I do feel like need to be released, uh, like I said, Banana Fish. They acknowledged Ash's birthday, so I think we got a chance there. Next, uh, what I wish they would re release, I know they've done this a million times, but by the time I finished the series, I wasn't able to catch up to pre-order these, and it is the Haikyuu figures. Uh, especially the school uniform versions because I need Kenma and I need uh, Oikoa's school uniform version, school uniform version, and I also need Kenma's jersey uniform version too. And then I really want them to re-release uh, the Attack on Titan figures. I, they already did Levi. I pre-ordered my Levi a while back. I, he comes out in November, I believe, but I want them to re-release Eren, Mikasa, and Armin. And I think the last figure that I was hoping they would re-release would be Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. I was late to watching this show. I watched it way after it came out and now he's really expensive and I love that show. I love the art style. It looks visually different from other animes. <laughs> like I can't explain it. Um, it just feels really different and I love it so much and I really want Hanako. Those are the figures that I need and wish were re-released. If you like this video and you like this series, please leave a thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. And let me know in the comments a fig about a figure you either wish you had and consider to be a holy grail figure for you and or and or uh, a figure you wish they re-release. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new series is what I want to call it. It feels weird calling it that. But um, yeah, until next time, I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.